CMDF, Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyager. Process Miniaturization. Authority, top secret, highest clearance. Team Jonathan Kidd, Commander. Guru, Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane, Doctor, Biologist. Busby Birdwell, Scientist, Inventor, Builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. Busby, let's see what your remarkable invention looks like. Very handy if it works. It works all right. But I'm afraid it won't be used for exactly the same things Busby had in mind. You may begin, Busby. Show us your invention. What about Jonathan? Mr. Kidd will not be with us today. In fact, I regret to inform you that Mr. Kidd has resigned. What? You mean he's quit? We received this recorded statement this morning. Chief, Professor Carter, members of the team, recently I received a business offer that would make me a millionaire. I've decided to accept it. Therefore, I hereby resign from the CMDF, effective immediately. It's been a pleasure knowing and working with you all. Thank you. Hey, he just can't walk out. But he has. And we can't locate him anywhere. But what's this business offer? Perhaps Mr. Birdwell can enlighten us. Me? Open the container. Open it, Busby. OK. It's gone. Wait, you don't think Jonathan we shall see, Miss Lane. We shall see. Hey, boss. When is this new partner coming? Any moment now. I don't like the whole idea. How do we know it's not a trick? We don't. But if this machine of his can do it, he promises. He's here, Mr. Mensa. Oh, good. Send him in. So that's the instrument. And of course, we will need proof you really intend to turn to a life of crime, shall we say? You'll get proof, as long as I get my share. I don't like it. It's too... Uh... All right, Mr. Kidd. Um, show us how your machine works. And uh, be careful. Take your time. How much did you say? Let me write that, sir. Uh, just a moment. No! It can't be! It's gone! Sensational crimes continue. Police baffled. Well, they may be baffled, but I'm not. There's only one explanation for these perfect crimes. I don't believe it. Jonathan wouldn't become a criminal. Besides, there's no evidence. I'm afraid there is, Miss Lane. Watch closely. 
by a lucky chance, a hidden camera took these pictures moments before the money disappeared. I still don't see... <gasps> it's Jonathan. Exactly. Who's that? That is Eric Mensa, a man we've suspected of being one of the world's most brilliant criminal leaders, and on whom we have never gotten the tiniest bit of evidence. So that's Kid's new business partner. No, it's not true. Our feelings lie more easily than our eyes, Miss Lane. The truth is clear. You positive this isn't something you and Kid cooked up? Quite positive. Busby, you invented this miniature miniaturization machine. Now you've got to destroy it at once. Yes, sir. Remember, whatever you do, get rid of that machine. That's what's important. Yeah. If it doesn't get rid of us first. Activate process. <laughs> Where are we going? To the Mensa building, that skyscraper over there. Look, in that room. Mr. Keith. And his business associates. Come on, we gotta get in there fast. Well, gentlemen, I hope this is enough proof for you. I don't know. No doubt, Bruno. Let us say it's a good start, Mr. Kidd. Now, what is this proposition you have for us? It's very simple. Do you know what this is? It's a hundred dollar bill. Exactly. And if you agree to my plan, in a week, we can each have a stack of these as high as the ceiling of the top floor. Looks like we got here just in time for the big announcement. This is my proposition. Tonight, we pull off the greatest robbery ever conceived. And what might that be? Tonight, we rob the National Mint. That's crazy. You can't rob the Mint. If you rob the Mint, there won't be no money. Be quiet, Bruno. Go on, Mr. Kidd. We're not taking any money, Bruno. We're taking a whole press. Then we can set up our own private Mint and print our own money. Very clever. But how do we get in and out of the mint? There's something about that machine you don't know. Not only can it reduce other things, it can reduce itself at the same time. We take it in, and it takes us out. Hey, no. That part's not tested yet. You can forget about testing it now, Busby. And we can forget about Jonathan. Here's the printing room setup. Let us proceed, Mr. Birdwell. We must destroy the machine. Right. This is the hundred dollar press. Get ready to fire. Wait, something is wrong. We can't wait, Guru. We may not have another chance. Coming in. Don't miss. Hey, that's not my invention. It's a trick. You were right, Mr. Kid. I knew they'd show up sooner or later. Now let's make sure they don't leave. Hey, what happened? Uh-oh, I'm afraid I know. There it is. I'll get it, boy. Looks like target practice, and we're the target. Stop it, you fools. You'll shoot each other. Mr. Kidd, I believe you have prepared for this possibility. Just leave it to me. Leave what to him? Us. Look! A suction device. Quickly, Mr. Birdwell. Get us undercover. Right! Buffy, there's another one. Turn us! It won't go! Very good, Mr. Kid. Rocky, bring them here. Sure, boss. <laughs> You don't object if I make certain your former colleagues are really there, I trust? They're there, don't worry. For the sake of our partnership, I sincerely hope so. They are indeed. Uh, forgive me for being suspicious, uh, but one can never be too careful. I agree completely. Destroy it! Sure, boss. <laughs> That was pointed at you, Mr. Kidd, until you proved yourself. Fire it!
Well, that takes care of that. All right, let's proceed. Rocky, Bruno, you come with us. The machine's on. Don't move. Okay, get moving. We've got to get there before they close up. What happened? I, I think the door closed just before we got there. And I seem to remember something that looked like the Voyager getting melted by a laser beam. That's funny. I had the same dream. It was not a dream. It was Mr. Kidd's way of convincing his partners that we were really dead. They were models Mr. Kidd had hidden in the compartment. Then Jonathan was fooling them and us all along. I knew it. Well, I didn't. And I... Enough talk, Mr. Birdwell. We must follow them at once. Right. Now that they think we're out of the way, we'll catch them off guard. Come on, Busby. <laughs> Just at closing time, Mr. Kidd. When we're through, they'll wish they'd closed earlier. Look down there. That's what I call money. Here, I'll give you a souvenir. Hey, thanks. Come on, Rocky. The guard. Kid, you fool. Put that money back. He'll notice. You're right. I forgot about that. What's that noise? I must be getting tired. I thought I saw something. Can we get to business now, kid? Uh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Is this the printing room? It's not the parking lot. I'm getting out. Come down when I signal you. Devil, are they? What's holding things up, Mr. Kidd? Uh, nothing. Get back. Well, I can't stall any longer. Uh, ready? Hey, look at that. Yeah, what? It's about time. Now let's get out of here. Coming, Mr. Kidd? Uh, I'm coming. There. That should do it. At least it better. Start it up, Erica. It's working. Not that hard. <laughs> Get in, Mr. Birdwell. We cannot waste time. Wait a second. What's the matter now? I just thought of something. If I move those other presses around, I can make it look like there's nothing missing. And that'll give us a good head start. An excellent idea. But I have a better one. Ah, uh, get the miniaturizer. Since you are obviously so eager to remain, you may have your wish, Mr. Kidd. You see, I never did believe you. Oh! There he is. Get him! Do not let him escape! Uh-oh. I see him. Get under cover. Oh. Blast. I'm caught. He snapped. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Kiddo. Wait. There's a better way. Look down there. Uh, what do you mean? You'll see. Just fire. <laughs> what? Imagine! 
that you're getting your picture on money. Yeah. I'm sure Mr. Kid won't. Time to depart, Rocky. Sure, boss. <laughs> Voyager, come in. It's no use. They're not coming. I've got to get myself out. And fast. The alarm. I hate to do this, but it's my only chance. The alarm. It's the alarm. The door is closing. Where do we go, boss? In there, quickly. Come on, someone. What's going on? Hey, the press is on. Then why don't you shut it off? Ah! Oh, I thought I chipped in my cash that time. Everything okay? Looks all right. Yeah, everything's fine. Except that there's a press missing. Looks like something's up. Head in through that vest, Busby. Those bells, they're driving me crazy. <laughs> Think of the money, Bruno. Hey, what's that, Buzz? It's, it's, it's them. I thought they was dead. They soon will be. Despite Mr. Kid's tricks, man the gun! Look, here they come! Man, are they gonna get it now? Wait, Mr. Birdman, we want them unharmed. Let me handle it. Fire! Fire at who? Which one? Just fire! We're being attacked. Get down. They made it. There's Jonathan. Open the hatch. I'm going down. And I'm going after those crooks my way. It's catching us, boss. What will we do? Keep low. Near the machines. Sure, boss. Good idea. Look out, you flying crime wave. Here I come. Change speeds now. Be careful, Mr. Badwell. Don't worry. What happened, boss? Hey, he ain't here. He ain't. Okay, now let's go pick up the pieces. There's something funny going on here. You sure took your time getting here. Well, I like that. You... Eric has come in. Mr. Gunaway, he's not here. Gunaway? He couldn't have. He must be here somewhere. Right and wrong, Mr. Kid. I am here, but I will get away. After I deal with you. Be careful with that. It's not tested. Then I shall test it. <laughs> The machine blew up just at the right time. Look. I'm stuck. Blast it on. This is ridiculous. You're under arrest. Don't, don't, don't move. I can't move. Well, back to the drawing board. I can't figure out what went wrong. I did. Remember? How could we forget? But next time you decide to become a criminal, I wish you'd tip us off. For sure. Listen, there's a gold shipment coming in this afternoon. Yeah? Where? Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 